In this video, I'm gonna be answering some more of your frequently asked questions around the Amazon affiliate website. Uh, that includes WooZone and Kingdom. The questions I'm gonna be answering today include how to collect email addresses from your visitors before they get redirected off to Amazon to make their purchase, how to hide the search box, how to hide the WooZone country selector flags, and also I'm just gonna talk about the new commission structure that Amazon uh, mentioned um, a few weeks back. So let's get started. Hello, it's Alex here from WP Eagle. Thanks for watching and welcome to another FAQ. So let's jump straight into the questions. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the new Amazon commission structure, which I think became live on the 1st of March of this year. Basically what's changed is that before they used to pay commission based on volume. So the more Amazon stuff that you sold through your affiliate links, uh, the bigger your commission rate would be. So I think it went all the way up to eight or 9% or something like that. I don't know, I never sold that much volume, but yeah, it was a sliding scale depending on how much volume you did with them. Now they've changed it, so it depends on the category of product you're promoting. So I've got the uh, the list actually on my screen here. I'll put it up for you in terms of what commission rates you can expect to get based on category. For example, the video games category now only pays out 1% commission regardless of how much volume you put through. However, on the flip side, the digital video games, which I'm guessing is like Kindle apps and stuff, as well as Amazon coins, whatever they are, and Luxury Beauty now pays out 10% commission. So this is gonna have a direct effect on the market and the niche that you're gonna to wanna to go into when you're setting up your Amazon affiliate website because it's gonna have a real big impact on how much money you can potentially earn. So looking down that table a bit more, you can see that things like outdoor tools is five and a half percent. Headphones and musical instruments brings in about 6%. So yeah, if you're thinking of setting up a new Amazon affiliate website, be sure to check out this table first uh, so that you can go for something that offers a decent uh, level of commission percentage. Okay, moving on to the next question. Now I've been asked this a few times and it's how can I collect email addresses from my visitors before they go off to Amazon? Now, luckily WooZone has actually got this feature built in. You just need to switch it on. So let's get on the computer and I'll just quickly show you how you can turn it on. Okay, so I'm over at Boot Boutique, which is the site that I created in my 2017 tutorial. If you haven't seen that, be sure to go check it out. I'll put a card up on the screen now. But anyway, yeah, let's collect some email addresses. So I'm gonna go into the dashboard. And then into WooZone settings. Well, WooZone. Then I'm gonna come across to the Amazon config down here. Then into plugin setup. Then if we scroll down, it's about halfway down. We've got this checkout email here. And if we set that to yes, uh, it will then add a box where people can enter their emails. You can make it mandatory if you like, which means people can't actually get redirected off to Amazon unless they put their email address in. That's up to you. I mean, that might affect your conversion rate on Amazon if you do that, so uh, maybe test it out. And then if you wanna get hold of the emails that you've collected, there's a button here to export those emails. So let's scroll down to the bottom and save those settings. That's saved. Uh, let's go back to the site. Let's uh, check out a product. Okay, let's choose some options. Add to cart. Okay, that's been added to my cart. Let's go and take a look at the cart. We can see that there's this email box here. Now, I know you might miss it to be fair, which is why you might wanna turn on that, uh, you know, you can't proceed without filling it in because yeah, easily overlooked. But so you wanna test it out, see so it get on. It's not a feature that I use. Um, I don't know why I don't use it, maybe I should, but uh, some of you guys do wanna use it, so that's how you turn it on. The next question is around the search box on Kingdom, which is in the header. I've been asked a few times by people, how can I hide the search box? And well, it's pretty straightforward. You just need a little bit of custom CSS, which you'll find over on wpeagle.com. But uh, let me just get on the computer, I'll quickly show you how it's done. I'm not quite sure why you'd wanna hide the search box. Some people are saying they don't need it or they think the search results don't work very well, that sort of thing. So uh, whatever your reason, here's how to do it. Let's go on the computer, I'll show you how. 
Okay, so we're looking to hide this box up here, this search box, and the way to do that is you're gonna be adding some custom CSS. Now, I've got the custom CSS all ready to go. It's over at WP Eagle, which is my website, and uh, I hope you checked it out. If you haven't been over there, be sure to uh, take a look. I say there is now a forum where you can post your questions and share your sites and, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but hey, I'm getting sidetracked. Yeah, over at wpeagle.com you'll find this blog post here, which is hide the search bar on Kingdom. I'll also add a post on WP Eagle for this video that you're watching right now, so you'll find the code on there too. I can't put this sort of code on YouTube directly in the description, whatever, uh, YouTube don't like it. So you're gonna have to visit WP Eagle to find this code. Or of course you could just write it down or something, but that'd be long. So I'm just gonna copy that into my clipboard. I'm gonna go back to my website. I'm gonna go up to customize. Then down the bottom of these options, the very last one is additional CSS. And then at the bottom of all that stuff, I'm gonna paste it in. Oh, there we go, you can see it's gone. Save and publish, and if we close that, you see the search box is gone. So that's that. So that's pretty straightforward. Uh, I hope you've hidden your search box if that's what you wanted to do. So talking about hiding things, let's move on to the last question, which is how to hide the country selector flags, which um, appeared in one of the more recent versions of WooZone. Basically means if you've got multiple affiliate IDs for different Amazon countries, uh, the visitor can select uh, where they wanna purchase from, whether it be Amazon UK or Amazon.com. Now, if you've only got the one um, affiliate ID or for whatever other reason you wanna hide it, I'll show you how. It's pretty simple, it's just a WooZone setting. So again, let's get on the computer and I'll show you how to do it. Okay, so we're looking to hide, oh, where's it gone? This bit here, this box, uh, which at the moment has only got UK in it because um, that's the only Amazon affiliate ID that I've got set on this site, um, which is probably a reason why you might wanna hide it if you've only got the one. Um, but yeah, a number of you have asked how you hide it. And it's pretty straightforward. There is an option within WooZone. So let me show you where that is. If we go into the dashboard. And then into WooZone and Amazon Config. I think that's a good place to look. Then if we go to Plugin Setup and scroll down, I think it's towards the bottom. Ah, there we go. Activate product availability by country box. There it is, and you just set that to no. And it will be gone. You can actually change where it sits as well if that's more useful. So uh, as a new WooCommerce tab, or before the WooCommerce tabs, or before the title and the thumb, uh, wherever you like, you can hide the flags and all that sort of thing. Oh, I've just noticed there's also a setting in here to change the text font size of the as of bit, which I covered in a previous FAQ using custom CSS. Hey, I'm going off on a tangent again. So yeah, you just need to turn it off here. Let's set that to no and go back and take a look. Let's have a look at this boot here, that'll do. Oh, there we go, it's gone. So, simple as that. So there we go, that brings us to the end of this video. Of course, if you've got any more questions, then please do add them to my new forum, which you'll find over at wpeagle.com slash forums. That's where I'm gonna be dealing with questions and comments going forward, not the YouTube comments so much, although please do leave a YouTube comment as well. I, I do read them, uh, but I may not be able to reply to all of them. Sorry if there is uh, any baby screaming in the background of this video. Um, what can you do? And to be the first to find out when I upload new videos, please do click the subscribe uh, thing. I'll put it up there, little eagle. And make sure you click the little bell as well, and that way you will definitely get a notification. If you're looking for something else to watch, here is another video that's been specially selected just for you from my channel, uh, which I hope you enjoy. But until next time, it's bye for now.